this is a cool place right inside of Meow Wolf. Kind of reminded me of Star Wars and Ahsoka Tano. I'm so excited to see her. What's up everybody, it's Missy Bora and today we're going to be doing Ahsoka Tano but in the Funko Pop style. So let's see if I wanted to show you what it looks like at the end because it's really cute. <laughs> All right, so what I did first because it's really hard to draw a circle or oval, I got my little cup. It says, you're the best art teacher. So. Star Wars is really big in our family, let me just tell you. Okay, and I took a regular pencil, traced that. This is just to begin my drawing. Her head is not um, circular, okay? It's not just a perfect circle, so it goes out a little bit to the side. Anytime I do something at one side, I turn the paper over to do it from the same angle, you know? And that way it won't be uneven. So now I can make this a nice wide oval because her head this oval going out to the side and then just sketch out my head and this begins the whole thing now from there we add all kinds of details and the body's a little bit smaller she has this really cool what this I don't know what they call this but it's really awesome it's just one of the characteristics of her character Okay, and then her neck. So I'm just watching a picture I found of a Funko Pop doll, and that's what we're basically using as our reference. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with the body and so on, but I, the head is the main part you really wanna concentrate on getting right and putting it high up on the paper so that you have plenty of space to put the rest of the figure. Okay, so I'll show you the rest in just a second, and we'll keep going from there, okay? Okay, so I did my rough sketch and now I'm going to go ahead and use my Sharpie to go ahead and do the line. So you can see all the details. Oh my gosh. But every time I did something on one side or the other side, I turned my paper upside down to get it right. I don't know what the brain does, but that's true. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just start tracing. And this. It's also helpful when you're thinking. <laughs> Now, if you don't want to try to back sharpie and you just want to color with, you know, color pencils, crayons, or markers, you can do that. So, um, so I'm going to finish this in just a second and add my colors with my beautiful, I call them markers, they call them pens, double, dual tip brushes. So, either way. All right, so have fun. And I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll come back and see what colors we used, okay? Okay, so I finally finished coloring and I wanted to show you what I used. I did use some chalk in her eyes just so that they would glisten a little bit. And then I used metallics anywhere I could. So these are, some of them are praying and I'll put all of the links to the description, uh, in the descriptions about what I used today because there's so much. Okay, so then there was also these, which I really like. I used them on her clothes and these are future dual tip brush pens. Pretty cool. Okay, and then for the skin, I used color pencil. So we got those two, so all kinds of stuff. But she really came out cute and I really love her. So I hope my friend Robbie likes her too. And I hope you had fun. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.